Hi, everybody. So, I'm on my way to work. <clears throat> so, I decided I might as well make this video since I have a good, like, 20, 30 minute drive. I know there's going to be a lot of stuff going on on my page. I'm probably going to separate it into different playlists so that you guys can track it. But, as I said before, I want this page to be an overall um, health and fitness um, journey page. So, mind, body, soul, spirit. And that includes the things that I go through on my day-to-day -day because I have a lot. And this is on my journey to myself. As a 29-year-old woman <clears throat> encroaching on 30s, coming up soon, shortly. So, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So today, I wanted to talk about my brace face journey. Um, as you guys can probably see, well, I'm talking a little funny because... I got spaces put in, which we'll cover. But as you guys can probably see, when I smile, I have an open bite. I have a severe open bite. I've had it since I was a child. Um, and it's due to me um, sucking my thumb, which I did try and, you know, cut back on in my adolescent years because it became embarrassing, you know. Um, my mom tried everything to get me to stop sucking my thumb. She did hot pepper. She wrapped my thumb in duct tape. She did hot sauce. Um all kinds of stuff um my thumb got slammed in the door by my nephew a couple times and all I did was when it was too bearable I just sucked my other thumb I was determined don't know why I just was um the only thing that stopped it was I didn't want to get picked on in school so I cut it back on thumb sucking and so unless I was tired like extremely tired about to go to sleep so at bedtime was when I would still suck it so, as you can imagine, in my um, younger years, especially my teeth were moving rapidly, it caused them to give an open bite. So, as a result, I have a per perfect open spot for my thumb. So, I can fit it. Um, so... Besides that, I've been told by dentists that my teeth are perfect. I haven't had any cavities ever. They're perfectly aligned. They're super white. Um, I just messed it up. And when I messed it up, I messed up the bone structure and it reshaped the whole inside of my mouth. So in order to fix this, um, I will have to get double jaw surgery. Um, and I have to get the one where they go inside the top and they cut it into three uh, places. I've already had a consultation for this. This is how I know. Um, twice, actually. And then they, like, move it back and fuse it together. And then they have to move my bottom jaw because it slightly protrudes at the bottom. So, but in order to do that, I have to go through, like, six months to a year of braces. And then I get the surgery. And then I go back for braces to make sure that my bite is right. Because right now, I can't close my mouth. Um, and it contributes to things like sleep apnea um I always had a lisp <laughs> um apparently it's because I can't close my tongue can't hit the back of my teeth um and really it's still cosmetics but it also has caused for me to have like a weaker looking chin um and I always have like the duck lips or a pouty mouth a lot of people say because it always looks like I'm pouting and I close my mouth because my teeth stick out so far. So, I'm going to give you guys, like, a couple seconds as I show you what I'm talking about. So, this is me smiling. And as you can see, I can talk through them. Um, they do close. And they overlap perfectly. And as you can see, here's my weaker chin. And it's because... The way I suck my thumb, it caused my uh, jaw to rotate down. So, potentially I could look a slightly different. Oh, my baby's texting me good morning. Um, I can look slightly different. So, um, anyway, I have started the process. Um, and because I have to get surgery, I have to have spacers. Some people, when they get braces, they don't have to have spacers. Um, and they will be the metal brackets. So... Um, anyway, so they do the spacers so that they can put these caps on. And they have to create space between my uh, teeth. So I have eight spacers. Um, I have two 
on each side, top and the bottom, over my molars. As you can see. Um, they are little rubber bands that they floss in between and they pop a little top up so that it makes your teeth shift rapidly, which causes pain. Um, I got those in yesterday and I have to keep them in for approximately a week to two weeks. So I'm going to be going back on the first to get, um, the spacers, I believe removed and to put the, um, bands around them so that I can get my braces. Um, and I was told that the spacers are the most, um, discomfort and pain that you will have and today and tomorrow are supposed to be like the worst days for it um and they told me that children typically when they get spacers you know it doesn't bother them after a day but for some reason adults it really bothers us so yeah um yesterday when he went to put them in um because my teeth are close together I don't have any crowding or anything like that um so before, because those spaces are tight and I don't have gaps back there, when he went to floss it through, he had to go all the way down and it like, you know how when you're flossing and it cuts into your gums, did not feel good. Um, and then, so it, it, it really, that part really hurt. But then when he popped it back up a little bit, it was um, less painful. But right now my gums are still kind of swollen because it's, it's almost the same reaction as if I had like a popcorn, cur a popcorn kernel or a big chunk of meat stuck between my teeth and like your your body wants to get it out so your gums start swelling and trying to push it out. That's essentially what's happening. And at first, you know, I was like, it's fine. But then last night I tried to eat some asparagus and it was soft asparagus and it was super sensitive and it hurt. So I had to stop um, and I was like, okay, this is what people are talking about. I am just going to go on a soft foods and a liquid diet. So I um, did some shredded chicken in a crock pot. So it pretty much melts in your mouth. And the asparagus is soft. So I should be able to like, which makes it difficult because these teeth don't close. So I do all my chewing with my back teeth. Um, so I'm going to have to like, kind of like mush it up and essentially just swallow it. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do today because I have got to get my weight under control. Because if you follow me, you know I have PCOS. And I have to get it under control, especially for uh, my fertility journey. So, um, doing the pudding, jello, um, ice cream, and all the other stuff, is I can't. I can't. I, I have to be more mindful of my eating habits. So, I'm going to do what I can. And yeah, so that's how um, the spaces journey is going so far. Like right now, it it does kind of hurt. Um, it it does kind of hurt, but right now it's just more discomfort. Um, it only really hurts when I try to bite down because I can't really um, get into the grooves because the rubber band is uh, un uneven. So when I bite down, it's like spongy. So my teeth can't really close all the way in the back. And when I try and bite down too hard, that's what causes the pain because it's lodging that rubber band into my um, into my gums. So that is what's going on with that. I just want to take you guys along on this journey. Going under overpass. Um, so. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down below. If not, then don't. Do what you must. If you like it and you want to follow me, then subscribe. <sighs> I am excited because I am soon going to be a brace face and get rid of this open bite. And it may change how I talk. Who knows? All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.